Peace to everybody back with another video. This is Varney, AOC using virus to push socialism. And as you know, Ocasio um, Cortez has used socialism to keep everybody in the house. So while you're sitting in the house like a bunch of dummies listening to this woman pushing socialism on you she's happy joyful and everything about it she said yeah now that i got everybody to do socialism i can do whatever i want and i'm glad the oil prices have went down so this is what she is happy about she's happy that she put all of you out of work and you allow her to get away with this because you're too scared to stand up to the Democrats the, who are evil. The deep state is evil. And you allow her to do this. Fox Business' Stuart Varney, in his latest My Take, argues that Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is tweet appearing to celebrate oil's crash in another attempt to polar politicize the virus pandemic and push socialism yes so while she's got you all scared wear a mask do it as you're told she made the oil crash she's celebrating it every single day while you do nothing to stop her and this is what she had tweeted out but then, of course, she deleted it after, thinking nobody would notice. She tweeted and then deleted what she posted, Varney said. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez had gleefully pinned on the crash in oil and the shape, or, I mean, sorry, the sharp loses for stock prices. Yes, yeah, so she tweeted it, then she deleted it, she posted it, Varney said, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez had gleefully pinned on the crash in oil, and the sharp loses for stock prices. So the stock prices had lost all the oil prices because of her. Now how much longer are you going to deal with this socialism from her? Are you going to keep allowing Ocasio-Cortez to give you socialism? Because this is what the world is coming to right now because of her. She's glad everybody is out of work. She's glad that the oil prices have, are no longer around. She's happy about everything. She's getting away with it. And while you sit there at home, do nothing mm -hmm. about her. How much longer are you going to put up with it? How much longer are you going to allow Ocasio-Cortez put up with socialism? Because this is what she's doing right now. She doesn't want you to see your family. She don't want you talking to anybody. This is how, what, why she's getting away with this right now. How, how can you put up with this? What happened to her and her country, she took it out on us, Americans. She took it out on us because she was trained by her boss, whoever it is. Oh, come on. Thank you, boss. Now I know what I could do. I'll go to America and push socialism. And this is exactly what she did. She pushed socialism on this country because of what her country mm -hmm. has done. Are you going to keep allowing this? We're not in Germany. or This is not neo-Nazi Germany. Excuse me for saying it, but it is the truth. She's been doing this. She's been planning this all along. And you don't even realize it. Wake up, people. Stop allowing Ocasio-Cortez to take control mm -hmm. of your life. In a now deleted tweet, Ocasio-Cortez wrote, You're, You absolutely love to see it. 
in response to oil crashes. Yeah, this is what she t t deleted. I mean, it tweeted, I'm sorry. She said, you absolutely love to see it in response to oil's crash. So she's happy that the oil crashed. She said, yay, I'm glad I did it. This is what she is doing. And you allow this no good for nothing woman in a, in a Senate? Really? You are sad people for allowing allowing Ocasio-Cortez take control of you. You are sad people. Stop allowing fear to take control of you because God gave you free will for a reason. And you gave up your free will for Ocasio-Cortez. You gave everything up for this woman because you allow her to push socialism on you. How much longer are you going to allow this? When are you going to stop being afraid of these fake politicians and start standing up for yourself? You are her puppets. You're her puppets. You're allowing this. You're allowing Ocasio-Cortez to take control of your life. She's telling, she's saying, yeah, the oil, she's glad the oil has crashed. She's glad that socialism is here because of what happened to her in her country, which I think she needs to be kicked back to her country. She's glad that you're out of work. She's glad that she's doing everything. This is what she is doing. She does not understand the Constitution of the United States. She doesn't understand it because she was brought up evil in her country. She does not care about you at all. She's a Democrat. She's evil. She's part of the deep state. She's happy for what she has done to you. Mm -hmm. And here's one of the um the tweets that Chuck Rose had um have on his Twitter account. And this is from April 20th. My cousin's husband was laid off from his oil field job in western Texas even before today's downturn. They have three kids. She has cancer for the second time in her life. Prognosis mm -hmm. unclear. So no, you don't absolutely love to see it. And this is what she told Alexandria Cortez. Their, his cousin's husband was laid off from his oil field job in western Texas. Even before today's downturn, they both have three kids now. She, the wife, his cousin, she has cancer for the second time in her life. Prognosis unclear. So his cousin can't get no treatment, no nothing because of what Ocasio-Cortez has done. Everybody is out of work because of her. And of course, Chuck Rose also said she deleted it, but here it is. So Ocasio-Cortez somehow lied Um about her tweet being deleted but if you can go find it and cuss her out please do because I, I give her an ear for myself she wrote this is what Ocasio Cortez wrote on her Twitter account you absolutely love to see it this along with record low interested rates means it's the right time for a worker-led mass investment in green infrastructure uh, to save our planet. Cough, Twitter.com. 
So she wants a green deal. She doesn't want people to have oil or anything. She wants everything to a green deal. Say no to her deal because if you allow her to take control of this planet, you are all doomed for the rest of your life. You really are. You're all doomed for the rest of your life if this Green Deal even thinks about going through. She wants to save our planet. No, she don't. She's destroying our planet. She doesn't care. She's clearly happy to see CO2 emissions cut sharply, but if it takes 20 million Americans suddenly unemployed, businesses ruined, and thousands in lockdown misery, surely she should express a little less glee and a lot more understanding of the catastrophe the virus has unleashed, Varney said. Yeah, so she's clearly happy to see CO2 emissions cut sharply. And she also, and he also said, but if it takes 20 million Americans suddenly unemployed, businesses ruined thousands and locked down misery. Yeah, this is what she's done to you. She put socialism on everybody so nobody can say nothing to each other. You will not see your family no more. No, nothing. And you allowed this? She needs to be voted out of office, literally. I'm not a registered voter because I'm glad I don't. I have no loyalty to these politicians and governments at all. I have no loyalty to them. But this is what she has done to you. She made you get lose your jobs. She made you. She made sure the oil prices have crashed. She made sure that you are living in a lockdown misery. She's making sure all this is going well for her. And yet you don't stand up to Ocasio-Cortez? Really? You better wake up and start fighting against her. Because if you don't, you're going to be in socialism for the rest of your life. And then what are you going to do? How are you going to feed your family? How are you going to go to work to provide for your family? How are you going to, how are you going to have doctor's appointments when they got to be by phone all the time? How is all this going to work out for you? It's all going to be misery for you because of her. The tweet went on to say, now is the time for a worker-led mass investment in green infrastructure structure to save our planet. Well, guess what? She's not, like I said, she's not saving our planet. She's destroying our planet. And you allow this? Are you crazy? Wake up. Socialism is here because of Ocasio-Cortez. She allowed socialism. She was happy to do this. And you fell right into her plan, into her agenda. You fell for the dumbest trick in the book by her. Never let a good crisis go to waste. AOC is pushing socialism again. Varney said, perhaps she thinks capitalism has failed. She's wrong. It hasn't. The virus did this to us in wild schemes to borrow trillions for the green revolution or just that wild scheme. So, yeah, so Ocasio has done it again. She pushed so she's pushing socialism again. And this is what Varney is saying. He's saying this. Perhaps she thinks capitalism has failed. She's wrong. It has. It. The virus did this to us and wild schemes to borrow trillions for the green revolution are just that wild schemes. So she wants to borrow trillions of dollars for the green revolution. I say no deal on my end. 
I say no, and you need to say no too, because if you don't, and once she gets this green revolution going, that's it, you're done. You will never see your family again. The only way you're going to see them is virtually. That's the only way you're going to see your family again is through virtually. And here you go with, here's the evil Ocasio-Cortez. She's evil. She pushed socialism on everybody. This is what she has done to everybody. She made you live in misery. And you allowed this woman to take advantage of you? Seriously, people? Barney believes this continues the trend of politicizing the virus. I can't even say the C word because I know YouTube is taking down videos that say the C word. So that's why I have to change it to virus. So Bar Varney believes that this continues to trend of politicizing the virus. So this is what she is doing to everybody. She's making sure, oh, everybody's got to keep quiet. They, they don't need to know what's going on. This is what she's doing. Ocasio-Cortez is doing this to everybody. She's keeping you silent. She's telling you, no, don't you say a word to anybody about this. And you listen to her. Big picture, it's another attempt to politicize the pandemic and the president's response to it, he said. Speaker Pelosi and candidate Biden keep snipping away about Trump's delays costing lives. Congressman Adam Schiff will investigate. Right before the election, an AOC chimes in with a callous tweet. She absolutely loves to see the crash in oil and the wealth destruction in your 401k. So now, with Pelosi and Biden, they keep snipping away about Trump's delays, which, by the way, that's a lie because Donald Trump has got Dr. Bucky under investigation by the Trump administration because he's been giving you this song and dance about the um the uh the vaccine which that was misleading that was misleading so once Fauci is so once Fauci is investigated then they're gonna then the Trump administration is gonna go after the rest of them go uh, uh, for the other people like Bill Gates, Obama, the Clinton Foundation. I had no idea about the Zuckerberg Foundation, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And I hope he does come to her because you know what? Ocasio-Cortez is evil and she doesn't give a crap what anybody say. She's just going to do whatever she wants to do. But you know what? It's wrong for what she has done. And um, and AOC chimes in with a callous tweet. She absolutely loves to see the crash in oil and the wealth destruction in your 401k. So she's destroying your 401k. And how are you going to respond to that? How are you going to respond to this? How are you going to deal with this from her? You better stand up against her. Tell her no green deal. Because this is what she's pushing for. A green revolution. She says she wants to save the planet. Save the planet from what? I want to know what is she trying to save the planet from? What is she trying to do? And then what? And what is going to happen to your 401k? It's going to be gone because of her. She's taken everything away from you. She is. 
She does not care what you think or anything. She is happy all this is happening to you. You need to send her back to her country where she came from. And of course, her voice sounds like a child. Trust me. I've, I've heard her voice. Oh my gosh. She sounds like a little kid. Varney said these arguments come from disa disapproval of Trump and his politics. Yeah, so Trump disapproved of her Green Deal. He said, no, I don't want no Green Deal. But So she went against Trump and said, well, I don't care what he says. I'm going to push socialism and destroy the 401k. Yep, well, she's done it. Say hello to socialism. Where you will never see your family again except virtually. That's all you're going to do for now. Until this, until she gets out of office. Until some people vote her out of office. Because this is what she is doing. Again, it's desperation based on unbridled mm -hmm. contempt for our president. He said, we will get through this. Not by going to socialism and not by pulling down President Trump. We will get through it by getting back to work as quickly and as safely as possible. So this is what Varney has said. It's desperation now based on unbridled contempt for our president. So between now and November, it's only going to get worse uh, before it gets any better. And you better get rid of Ocasio-Cortez because if you don't, your socialism is here to stay forever. That means you won't get no food. You won't get nothing because of her. And um, he also said, we will get through this, not by going to socialism and not by pulling down President Trump. We will get through it by getting back to work as quickly and as safely as possible. So you know what? Either way, Ocasio-Cortez is going to fail socialism because of what happened in her country. Whatever happened there was there. Don't bring it over here. She brought socialism over here into our country. <laughs> So how are you going to deal with, how are you going to keep allowing this woman to do whatever she wants to you? You are so gullible of listening to somebody that doesn't care about you. You're gullible. I knew this whole thing, this whole virus thing was a hoax. Now that Dr. Fauci is under investigation, more people are going to be investigated. And I hope they come to Ocasio-Cortez because she's pushing socialism. She's allowing it. She's happy everybody is out of work. She's happy all the oil prices crashed. She's happy about everything. She says, oh, yeah, 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 I get to have socialism. Well, guess what? It won't last for too much longer. Because like I said, when she talks, she sounds like a little kid. She lies to you. Say, oh, I'm not trying to do socialism, blah, blah, blah. Yes, she is. She got you all in the house for what? Because you listen to her? Are you serious? Are you serious listening to this woman? Your 401k is going to be gone because of her. How are you going to keep allowing this from her? Are you serious, people? Stop allowing Ocasio-Cortez take control of your life. She got you all in fear. She took all your 401k because she needs trillions of dollars for the Green Revolution. To save our planet, which that's a lie. She's pushed socialism. She doesn't care about you. Democrats are evil. Hello, they're the devils. They got bunkers underground. Check it out. While everybody is suffering up here above ground, they go 
underground where their bunkers are. And they plan out the next agenda. This is an agenda that she is doing to you. She's literally abusing you by saying, oh yeah, I got everybody's money now. I can get to go do whatever I want with it for the Green Revolution. And you fell right into her trap. How could you? How could you allow this woman to be in office? In a Senate office or wherever she's, I don't know what part of office she's in, but how how can you allow this woman to take everything from you? How? How can you allow this? Dr. Fauci is under investigation, so there's going to be more investigating. And while Ocasio-Cortez is sitting pretty in her house, saying all happy, glory to everything she has done, you're over here not doing anything about it. You're not doing anything to help yourself to get rid of this woman. She's not American. She's from another country. She came here illegally, allowing this socialism to be pushed on you. So you can't see your family. You can't go to the store like you would, except for essential stuff. You can't go to work. She's happy the oil crashed. She's taking all your 401k and say, hey, guess what? I'm going to go get the Green Revolution. You're allowing her to do this. If you don't stop her, you are done. How are you going to feed your family? How are you going to do anything for yourself with this woman around? Stop allowing people to control you because this is what they are doing. She is controlling you. She thinks she's making a change no she's not she's destroying your future and the future for your family that's what she's doing she's happy all this happened she's getting away with everything stop her before it's too late because once it's done it's done She went against Donald Trump's orders when he said no Green Deal. She went against his wishes by saying, you know what? I don't care what Donald Trump say. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Yeah, she got away with it all right, and you allowed it. And here y'all are bad-mouthing Donald Trump, saying, oh, he's a bad president, blah, blah, blah. No, he's not. He's doing the right thing while these Democrats, this deep state, the evil governments are getting away with everything. Better wake up and realize what you have done by giving up everything to Ocasio-Cortez because she is evil and she does not care about you at all. She doesn't. She is making sure you live in misery without a job and without taking care of your family while she's getting away with everything. It's hurtful and it's dangerous what she's doing to you. She has abused you mentally and who knows what else. This is a sad shame that she has done this to you. A really sad shame. She needs to be kicked out of office and kicked back to her country where she came from. Because if you don't stop her, nothing will stop her once the socialism is 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 one hundred percent. Already right now, little by little the Democrats are failing. Little by little, they're 
falling apart because they can't get away with everything that they want and Ocasio Cortez can uh I don't think so please get do stand up against Ocasio Cortez tell her no more socialism no more green deals no more stand up against her stop being afraid of her because the more you obey her rules the more you're gonna look like who knows what after and then what are you gonna do huh then what are you gonna do about it this has gone way too far with her she's evil if you have ever listened to her voice you would swear she sounds like a little child because her voice is so disturbing and so annoying. Cassio is in it for herself. She doesn't want to help you. She's hel You're helping her destroy you. That's what you're doing. You're helping her destroy you. Gas prices. Gas prices are gone. Your 401ks will be destroyed because of her. You will have nothing left. She's happy all this has done. She's trying to make it look like her country where she came from. She's happy all this happened. And you need to stop her now before it's too late. Leave your comments below. I am out.